الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله the question was asked السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you're well my brother I'm 20 years old will be going to Egypt in March 2019 to study Arabic I finished high school two years ago and I haven't gone to college due to me not knowing what I want to do I now want to get into the trade specifically HVAC which is air conditioning and refrigeration. I was going to do this when I came back from Egypt in September 2020. I will be 22 by then and will inshallah be looking to get married. My concern is that I want to study and will be applying to all the schools in Saudi Arabia inshallah. But I always hear you saying that brothers who graduate from Jamia are poor and not able to support themselves. Is it better for me to finish my apprenticeship in HVAC or accept my scholarship I get in the future? I know that if I study overseas and come back, I can still work HVAC, but won't be getting paid good money due to me not having a certificate of qualification. Uh, and by the way, I'm from Canada. Jazakallah uh, First and foremost, <clears throat> as uh, studying the dean is... There is wajib, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Talab al-ilm fariidatun ala kulli Muslim wa Muslim." That seeking knowledge is an obligation on every Muslim man and Muslim woman. And this, of course, is in reference to the wajib knowledge that that knowledge that will help you practice your Islam, that will help you come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which you're responsible for. That doesn't mean everyone needs to be an alim, and it doesn't need, mean everyone needs to be a talib al-ilm, so to speak, as we think, in teaching the deen and, and, and doing da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except to the extent of their ability. So, it's very important to distinguish between the two. And, <clears throat> As far as statements that I have made about brothers being poor, I, I don't recall saying brothers are being poor, but I have just emphasized the importance through my experience and the experience of many others that uh, often there is no one to uh, look out for you and you are alone. So meaning that you should tie your camel, that when going to seek knowledge, and as with anything, and as we've talked about in our many lessons about tawakkal ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we said, tawakkal ala Allah huwa itimad ala Allah wa fi'la asbab. It is relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making the efforts to attain whatever you're trying to achieve. So for the one who is trying to do talib al-ilm and wants to benefit and seek knowledge and come closer to Allah azza wa jal, then of course, they need to make effort to seek that knowledge and have the provisions. So if you are paying for yourself to go and study the deen, of course you need money to do that. You need money to be able to go and seek knowledge. You need money to be able to achieve the things that you are achieve, uh, trying to achieve. And if it is as you say, in re reference to your specific situation, that you are uh, a young man and you have an opportunity to get a trade, which that opportunity will not leave you. It will not leave you. Uh, and so you will have that opportunity, especially in those types of trades, that those opportunities will be open for you for a long period of time. And so the urgency is not, uh, should not be placed on that, especially if you have the inaya, you have the desire, and you have the ability to do talib al-ilm. If you have that great uh, ability and you have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because remember, sincerity, ikhlas li Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the foundation for seeking knowledge. And we're going to talk more extensively about that in the next sitting. And so, the, if you have that ability and you're young and you're not in need of getting married necessarily right now, then I would say for sure send your application to all those Islamic universities in Saudi Arabia and strive your utmost to get accepted there. And if not, and as you said, you're going to Egypt, go and stay, stay for a while, give yourself some years. Because as when I first uh, left to seek knowledge, and I remember going to Abu Muslimah's community and sitting there and a brother taking, giving me sort of a tour around the masjid. 
He said, look around here. This one went to Yemen for two for one year. This one went to uh, uh, Egypt for uh, uh, a year and a half. This one went for two years. There were so many brothers around the masjid who didn't really get the taste of Talib al-Ilm because they only went for a small limited period of time. Either they didn't prepare economically or they weren't prepared mentally and spiritually. So the tawfiq is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not everyone can do Talib al-Ilm. Really not everyone can be a Talib al-Ilm. That's what I should say. Everyone can try to do some Talib al-Ilm. But not everyone is, is blessed and favored with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's why it's the path to Jannah. The Prophet sallallahu said, Man yuridullahu bi khayran yufiqhu fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. Not everyone's going to get that fiqh fi deen. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi ilman sahala Allahu lahu tariqan ala Jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah. The Salaf used to say what? Talib al-Ain, Talib al-Jannah. Seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. And guess what? Paradise is not easy. And guess what? Talib al is not easy. And guess what? Talib al requires niya. It requires a strong intention and sincere ikhlas. That's why we have a lot of brothers and sisters who went away to study. Some of them 5, 10, 15 years. And that the reality is in the substance, not in what it was called. Meaning that some of the people weren't favored with much knowledge. I consider myself one of those people. And it was because of my own sins. It was because of my own shortcomings. My own uh, weak seeking of knowledge. But I know those who have benefited in a much shorter period of time that I, than what I study. And they're much more knowledgeable than I am. And much more have much more fiqh fi deen. And so this is really a, a, a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it requires ikhlas. And so my advice, getting back to your situation, is that with, your, with the situation that you have described, go seek knowledge, seek Islamic knowledge, make your intention sound and pure, and Allah will make a way for you. Especially when you're young, you can also, if you go to a place like Egypt, you can teach English on the side, because you're a native speaker, I'm assuming. And... There are many opportunities, excuse me, akramakum Allah, that, uh, to, to do things. And when you come back, you can always get a trade. And if Allah favors you to get in one of those universities for, from amongst the many people who apply around the world, then take that opportunity. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa